I think also, um, if you can increase the uh, sustainability of life, it basically provide as if someone's not born into debt, because when someone's born, they are born into debt, meaning like they have to get a house themselves, they have to uh, provide the food. So there's it's the same rigmarole as the last like like hundred thousand years, some ridiculous number, of, you know, of humans have been around the planet where we, most of our time spent just getting food and not dying, you know. So a, lot, a very few amount of people actually have luxury to have free time. Uh, like I've, I've had to kind of really jank my life around to uh, have enough time to develop myself. Uh, and I didn't have the opportunity to really educate myself properly because I didn't have enough money to uh, justify just spending on uh, universities and colleges who aren't really valuing... Uh, you know, education per dollar, more just how much they can milk out of people, because that debt trap uh, for our own people is, is killing families. It's because people need education to uh, justify their existence, to get a good job, but it's, you're not guaranteed to get a job now, so it's really like wild west. So a lot of people are getting in debt, they're totally in good education, and sometimes it works, a lot of times it doesn't. Um, like... I don't mean like the majority, but I mean like there's a significant amount of people who have been left out in the cold, um, who, uh, especially my generation, for like there's a, I call it like a colloquially the the the, 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 um, the doomer, the zoomer, the boomer, like my own definition, where like like the actual like, like boomers from 47 to uh, 72, and uh, you know kind of the the big growth period, like I can, like real economic growth in North America and like around the Western world pretty much. And then, like, uh, it stopped growing, like, year over year, at, like, 70, 73. Uh, 73 to, um, to 87 was kind of, like, still, still the good years. Um, but then from 88 to 99, it was kind of, like, a, it leveled out. It kind of, st it stopped, it, it kind of stagnated. And, um, and then from, like, 2000s, it was a little bit of a spurt, but it was still kind of bad. And then this next, yeah, then, like, yeah, from the 2000s to, like, 2019, it's kind of, like, a little bit of, a, like, a sustainable resurgence, but not, no, no boom, so, it's, like, people having two kids, you know, two, three kids, mostly two, like maybe one, so now after 2020, it's gonna be, like, automation and stuff like that's gonna be different, it's gonna be a normal little decade, so, uh, kind of, like, yeah, so, like, I'm a doomer, because, I, you know, you had the uh, financial recession, 2008, you had, um, like, 88, yeah, basically the cocaine, drug epidemic, a lot of my people uh, I grew up with died because, not because there was, a, it was, it was they were in a war, but they, it, but it wasn't, they, they, they died because of drugs and poverty, um, because their life was too complicated, and they, you know, drugs were so, 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 so easy, uh, and they're, you know, quick and convenient, but they didn't work in the long run, so a lot of my friends died, um, or very got close to it, basically dead. And uh, that was hard on me to, uh, you know, to transition and not be a victim like that. Because um, you had to, you know, it's quite one hell of a thing to justify your existence at 13. Um, against a lot of things that you didn't do responsible for, but you become very strong because of it. I think also the more stronger you get, the, you can provide more people so you can make the world, uh, you, can avenge your, you can avenge yourself basically by changing the world. Which is different, but difficult, but I want to do it. I think it's worth doing. Um, to a degree so that these things that I had to endure don't have to um, be replicated generation after generation. Um, I think it's wrong for people to suffer, to be born into a system, just to, to rise or to fall type of thing. Uh, yeah, because uh, I, I, like, I like people a lot, you know? I think, pe like, I know you can take, like, people in desperate situations and give them a little bit of, like, water, you know, the six basic needs to live, and it, you'd be amazed how, uh, how much, um, Productivity you can get out of people. I don't like killing people either. I like maybe throw them into like a, a gulag or something. It's not like a gulag, you know, uh, that's not inhumane, but like a prison system. In fact, the states where like they, uh, they make money off of it, where like instead of just having people like just be a big drain on the system, they they basically, I think it's like most of the white paint and like army helmets of that in the states are made by prison labor, you know? Um, but it's messed up in the states where they actually like try to prey on poor people to get them in the system so the rich people can make money. I don't, I don't agree with prisons for, for profit. I don't, I, don't, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's right. Um, 
because it you make an incentive where uh, you basically lock up your own people and it's not really helping people it's just kind of keeping them stuck like black people I think were really uh, in the states basically how do you start off you're off the boat as a slave you know that, that's your ancestors it's kind of hard to to compete with people who get off the boat and like you know they're a lot of some of them are rich and actually have factories so there's a bit there's a bit of a, a hill to climb right but a lot of people in Africa never had the, that, the ancestral history to you know, to like what Europe was, Europe's kind of crazy, you know, it's, it's like people had to learn really quick, and they did, you know, the people were people, you know, there's just not, they're not, uh, they're not, they're not it's just because you're a different color doesn't mean you're, you know, it may take a few generations, you know, to adjust, like culturally and whatever, uh, but it, people do have the potential to, to get better, that's why you should never give up on people, um, whole groups of them, because, you know, we're all in this together. Um, some people have, like, genetic problems, like, like birth, basically birth defects. Like not like inherent in the, in their um, their thing, but like there there is a line to you know, people who have special needs. For example, um, I don't like um, eugenics, where you da you basically say this person is this race, so they they don't exist properly. So uh, I don't agree with that because if that was true, I wouldn't exist because I come from like fucked up or part of my language. I come from like messed up. Uh, Bloodlines, I guess you could say. I'm kind of a mutt though too, so maybe that that's helping out. But um, incest is bad, you know. So being on an island for too long is it's not very good for genetic. Uh, you know, I think people in like Britain have bad teeth because stuff like that. In, in Japan, so it, it, it's not like a an evil thing. It's just you know you don't need like perfect genetics either to be a perfect you know a, a pretty good human. So. Because you know, it's just a game of Tetris. It's what you do with your life. You know, it doesn't, just because you have a slightly better or slightly worse uh, starring doesn't mean you can. You know, you're disqualified from living a, a meaningful existence. I don't think that's right to think like that. I think you should, you know, really give people the benefit of the doubt. I think that's why like uh, civil rights is so important um, because it it equalizes the dignity of people, and that's really important. So because it's, it's a it's a human need. You need dignity to to exist. I think this is caves done. There's diamond down here, but I don't really, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so I, I, think I, I like people a lot to the point where I want to go and make the world better. But not just like emotionally, but actually like objectively, like so we can have more people on, on the planet, sustainably speaking. Because I don't, I don't like it where people are being born, like I was born into poverty, um, like foster care and all that jazz, like a broken family. Um, the family system for me didn't work. A lot of people I grew up with, it just didn't work as it used to. It's, it, it's a broken model. So I think there's a, I think machines and the, and um, factories can really solve a lot of the the uh, infrastructure. Uh, that when someone when someone is born, um, they need a house, and they also need like a structure to live in so they can have a you know uh, someone else that can. Like, I think if you can have a, a world where the hardest thing to do is to fall in love with someone meaningful. Um, to share your life, and that, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful future. I think it's worth fighting for, you know, because uh, right now we don't have that um, that uh, state of existence where we can be free to actually pursue our dreams. I don't know where dreams come from or passions, you know, but we all have them. I think that the freedom to actually pursue your dreams—that's that's a huge thing. That I think if you can create that for a lot of people, that's like a new wonder, you know. There's so much more science could come out of that than like other people and stuff. And you know, some people not into that, but I think it's you know you get a lot. You'd be you definitely I think you'd definitely improve the world to a huge degree. Um, and everyone would benefit from it because you know we're basically like the product of other people's work that was useful. You know, nobody wants. To, oh yeah, I won't be in a house. I'll just go and freeze to death and eat uh, uncooked meat. We don't work like that, right? We we have. Um, social uh, integration, I guess you could say, um, how we function, we're social beings, so we like to collaborate, not, you know, we like to live in people's happiness, not in their misery, right, so, uh, and like, crime and stuff is a, a desperate um, solution that people use, they don't like to do it, when people have, like, something to lose in, in, the, in life, they, they have, they're very hesitant to uh, start conflict. It's usually when you have nothing to lose that you're, you know, the conflict seems pretty good. So that's why you shouldn't have poor people um, 
and say that oh they're poor and their kids are poor so you don't give up because like if you because they can change um they had opportunity and some people are kind of stupid i'll just say it all right life is a competition at basic level but not everyone has to lose and still have like a you know a, a dignified existence um so yeah like that's the thing it's a balance right you can't no not everyone's a winner but no but everyone doesn't have to be a loser that's my point and uh a baseline that's that's how you achieve that a baseline of uh standard of living which can be i think done if you throw the burden not from like slave labor but to machines and integration of systems that we can trust and it'd be transparent enough to function properly I can understand like a government, you know, um, they're all about compromises and people trying to get ahead. I understand that, you know. Um, like, the government, yeah, after all, is just a big corporation. If you really look at it, you know, it's like a big national corporation. So that we're all kind of a part of, I guess, if you're born into it, to a degree. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's see if I can. Maybe I can reroute this. Doesn't have to. Ah, oh, that's okay. 